So yeah, bring your block around. So we'll, we'll use it in a moment. You could also um, sit on a block if, if you'd like to try that. But then you have to move it out of under your sit bones because we'll handle it a bit. So a blanket or a pillow is also a good idea if you're sitting on the ground. And of course, you could do cross-legged or you could have one leg out to the side. If you'd rather sit on your heels or a different way, uh, feel free to do that. But try to get your shoulders more or less over your hips so you're encouraging a lifted, lengthened spine. And maybe you close your eyes, your hands can rest on your thighs. Try to relax your fingers. And then just tune into your breath. So for these first moments of practice, nothing else to do other than to breathe. And begin to breathe with a bit more intention, a bit more focus on that breath. And see if you can play with lengthening a bit more your exhales. And to do that, you might benefit from lengthening also your inhale, so taking in a bit more air. And begin to breathe out with a bit more control. So try to breathe out more through the nose. And then pace that breath out. So smooth it out. And as you lengthen it, you'll make it longer. And you'll find that at the end of your exhale, you can empty out a bit more the air from the lungs. You might find with each cycle of breath, your exhale can get a little longer. You get a bit more accustomed to that kind of breath. But try not to get competitive because that's just going to build some stress, some anxiety, and then the breath is going to get a bit more difficult. And so keep some ease, keep some ease physically, and then try to keep some ease mentally too. Let's take about three more breaths, just like that. Keep lengthening that exhale. And then begin to transition to a breath that is still intentional, it still has some depth, it still has some, you still have some agency over it, but it doesn't require so much uh, focus and so much effort. So maybe still long exhales, but not as long as you were maybe attempting. And you're trying now to find a breath that is sustainable for the next 50 minutes or so. So a rhythm of breath that will nourish you, that you can come back to whenever things get a bit tough or whenever the mind goes other places. So making sure that, that this breath, this rhythm has some ease, but also that intention and that engagement that keeps you present. One more breath in and breath out. And then with your next inhale, focus on lengthening your spine, push through your sit bones, push through any part of your legs that is on the ground or on a surface. And then as you exhale, lower the chin to your chest. Take a breath in here. 
And then take your left ear towards your left shoulder. Find some space in the right side of your neck. And maybe here play with moving your chin. So lowering it towards the shoulder and then lifting it towards the ceiling. You could do this with your eyes closed if it's comfortable or eyes open. And just finding that movement through the neck. One more breath. And then with your chin towards the shoulder, gently lower it back towards your chest, coming back through center. And then taking it over to the other side, right ear goes towards the right shoulder. And then again, just begin to find that movement through your chin. Lifting the chin up, lowering it. Just noticing what's here, what's, what sensations come up. And then bringing the chin back towards the shoulder and then gently bringing it back towards your chest. And then lifting your gaze, looking forward. Let's reach those arms wide, sweep them up towards the ceiling and then take them out and down by your side. And then again, inhale and lift. Exhale and take them out and down, taking as much space as you can. Inhale again, arms lift. And exhale, arms will lower. Now with your next inhale, reach your arms overhead and then bend your left elbow. Let the left hand come behind your head and then use your right hand to draw your elbow in. So early in practice, we've not moved those shoulders very much. So just see what's available. Try not to force things too far. Breathe in and breathe out. And then as you inhale, release both arms are reaching up and then let's switch right elbow bends. The hand comes behind the head and the left hand draws that right elbow in. And you can find a little resistance, the head pushes back. But see if you can focus on that stretch through the triceps, through the armpit. Breath in and breath out. Coming back through center on the inhale, reaching your arms towards the ceiling. We're coming into a twist. Right hand is coming to behind us and left hand is crossing over. And again, early in practice, so don't push it too far. Gentle. Remember about using inhales to lengthen up through, through the spine and then using exhales to find maybe a little bit more rotation. Another breath in. And another breath. Coming back through center, inhale, reaching those arms up. Let's take it to the other side, left hand behind us, right hand crosses over, twisting, turning towards the left, inhaling to lengthen, exhaling to find that rotation. One more breath. And then bringing yourself back through center, inhale, reaching those arms up. And then as you exhale, lowering those arms down by your side. So if you were sitting cross-legged, switch your legs. Bring the opposite leg on top or in front. Or if you had one leg out, maybe switch here too. And then reach your shoulders. Bring your shoulders all the way up by your ears. Squeeze them in. And then on your exhale, just drop your right shoulder. And inhale, right shoulder rises. Exhale, left shoulder lowers. Inhale, lift. Notice your spine will stay lifted. Exhale, right shoulder. One more time, lift. And left shoulder. Now as you inhale, both shoulders are going to lift and see if you can keep them lifted with your exhale. With your next inhale, lift them a little higher. One more breath. And then use your next exhale to release them all the way down. Open your arms out into a T. Breath in. And then on your exhale, bring your right arm over the left and give yourself a hook. So bring the um, hands to your shoulders. Send your elbows away from you. Take a full inhale. And then on your exhale, draw those elbows in towards the belly as you round your spine, chin towards your chest. As you inhale, lift. On your exhale, round. One more time. Inhale, lift. And exhale and round. 
Now, as you inhale, lift the spine, open up your arms, and then bring your hands behind you. So turn your palms to face back. And then if you're on your chair, you could grab the back of the chair. If you're on the floor, you could hold on to the other hand. Send the knuckles towards the floor, open up your chest. So squeeze the shoulder blades towards one another. Breathe in. And breathe out. One more breath in. And breath out. As you inhale, release. Arms open out into a T. Palms are facing forward. And now your right arm comes over the left. Cross at your elbows. And once again, bring your hands to your shoulders. Send your elbows away from you. Take a breath in. Exhale, round elbows in, chin to chest. Two more times. Inhale, lift. Send elbows away from you. Exhale, round. One more. Inhale and lift. And exhale and round. With your next inhale, lift, open up your arms. Once again, turn your palms to face back. Bring your arms behind you. If you were interlacing hands, find the opposite interlace and get that stretch through the front of the body, front of the shoulders, the chest, the front ribs, breathing in. And breathing out. Release those hands, reach your arms all the way up towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale, left hand behind you coming into your twist towards the left side. Pause, breath in and breath out. Now keep your right hand on your left knee and then bring your left hand over and then see if you can reach for your right knee. So you're crossing your arms, and then once you've crossed your arms, find a bit of a bend in your elbows, so a little pull action on your knees, and then see if you can round your spine and drop the head. Feel that stretch through upper back. Breathe in. And breathe out. And then as you inhale, release. Reach your arms again towards the ceiling, and we're going for a twist towards the right side. Right hand behind us, left hand crosses over. Take a moment here, breath in, lengthen spine, breath out. Now keeping your left hand on that right knee, bring your right arm over, see if you can hold onto the left knee, and then again, pull through those hands, so elbows kind of bend, and they're going in opposite directions, and then chin towards the chest, some rounding through your spine, quite a stretch for that upper back. Breathe in and breathe out. With your next inhale, release, reach your arms towards the ceiling, and then on your exhale, lower those arms all the way down by your side. All right, so before we use the block, let's find a little bit um, of uh, hip, hip work or hip um, opening. So right leg is going to come out to the side if it's not there already. And then your left heel is going to come close to your right thigh or as close as is available. If you've got your block and your left knee is kind of up in the air and it's kind of tough to, to hold it there, block under your left thigh, it's going to be a nice support. Okay. Or a pillow, uh, anything like that. Toes, right toes are drawing towards you. Both sit bones are well planted. Reach your arms overhead on the inhale. And then as you exhale, right hand towards that right leg and then reach up and over with your left. Get a stretch through the left side of the body. Bring yourself back through center, inhale. And then on your exhale, left hand behind you, right hand crosses over, you're just twisting towards the left. Keep your right toes drawing towards the shin and your right knee pointing up towards the ceiling. Coming back through center, inhale. Right hand towards right leg, side stretch. Back through center, inhale. Left hand behind you, right hand crosses over, a twist. One more time, just like that. Breath in, lift. Breath out, side stretch. Breath in, center. And breath out into your twist. Now as you inhale, bring yourself back through center. And on your exhale, we're folding forward. Your hands can lower in front of you and then walk them forward. Chest is going forward first and then down. And as you do this, your right toes are still drawing towards your, knee, your shin and your right knee is still pointing up towards the ceiling. Maybe even give a little press through that right sit bone and that right heel. 
Take a full breath in and take a full breath out. With your next inhale, rising up, maybe your arms lift if you feel like it. And then as you exhale, arms will lower. All right, so from here, we're going to switch. So see if you can switch without using your hands. Bend into your right knee, bring that right heel in, and then send your left leg out to the side. And then maybe bring that right heel a bit closer to that left. Um, inner thigh. Again, that block or that blanket under that right thigh might be helpful. Activate through your left leg, toes towards the shin, both sit bones well planted. Nice job. Reach your arms up. Inhale. As you exhale, left hand towards that left leg. We're coming into that side stretch. Back through center. Nice job. Exhale, we're coming into a twist. Right hand behind us. Left hand crosses over. Don't change that left leg. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, left hand, left leg, side stretch. Inhale, center. Finding your twist. Exhale, one more time. Breath in. Breath out. And breath in. And breath out. With your inhale, back through center, arms lift. And then as you exhale, hands in front of you and find any amount of fold that is available. Remember, try to make it happen from your hips. Okay, so if right away there's just rounding through the spine, stay lifted. So you still stay flexed. There's already flexion through your hips when you're sitting up. So you can emphasize that. And then eventually, maybe a bit more flexion will become available. One more breath. And then rising up, inhale, kind of, you can reach your arms up. And then as you exhale, release those arms down. Now again, left knee is going to bend, bring that left foot in. See if you can bring the soles of the feet together this time. So you um, hands can be around your ankles. And if you find yourself rounding right, right away, bring your hands behind you. Maybe even you come onto your knuckles, your fists, and then you just push your chest forward. Okay, so again, working through that flexion through the hips rather than a rounding through the spine. Okay, we're going to stay in this lifted position. Send your knees down. And send them down by activating a bit more through your glutes and your outer hips. So a little squeeze through that area of the body. Full breath in. And full breath out. And then from here, we're going to move a bit. So soles of the feet stay together or pinky toe side. The big toe side maybe is opening up. And then we're just going to use the muscles in the legs and the hips to lift those knees up and then to lower. And try not to use a bouncing action, okay? So sometimes we'll do this and it kind of it's momentum and it's just this bouncy and it's, there's not that much engagement. See if you can really control the movement. So bring those knees up and then push them down. So you've got to use those hip muscles. Again, lift and lower. There you go, nice job. And lift and lower and lift and lower now see if you can keep them down breath in lengthen spine and breath out and then bring those knees up plant your feet a little loose um, window wiper uh, movement here so some space between your feet and your knees, your hands, outer hips are behind you. And then take a full breath in at center. And then on your exhale, just drop the knees to the left. Come back through center and drop them to the right. And back through center and again to the left. And center and to the right. And then bring those knees back through center. Extend your legs out and still wide, maybe wider than shoulders. And then from here, just let your feet kind of go from side to side. So a little loose, not too much um, effort right now. 
And then bring your feet back through center. So toes are still drawing towards your shin and pointing up, knees pointing up towards the ceiling. And now just take your feet out, away from one another. And then in. And out. And in. And out. And in. All right. And now bend those knees and now find again a comfortable position. Now so we're going to do a little bit of work with that block and with those shoulders. So make sure that your legs will feel comfortable, supported. If you want to move to a chair, feel free to do that. But then we're going to bring the, we're going to hold the block with the palms of the hands and we're going to extend those arms out in front of us. I think I'll come sideways um, so you can see the movement a bit better. Although we've done this before, so I think you'll know where we're going. So fingers are going to be off the block and you're just pressing into the block with your palms and make sure that you're active pressing into that block. Hey, this kind of position for the block is probably like the best one. It's kind of shoulder, shoulder width. And then shoulder height with your arms, press through those palms. And from here, we're just going to do protraction and retraction of those shoulder blades. So you're sending your block a little further away from you just by sending your shoulder blades out and forward. And then you're drawing the block towards you just by drawing those shoulder blades towards one another back. And then again, send that block forward. Notice that movement through that upper back. Nothing else changes in your spine. Exhale, draw those shoulder blades towards each other. Again, send that block away. Bring it back, nice job. Keep pushing, pressing through those hands. Again, send it away. And then bring it back. And now from here, keep pushing into that block. Inhale, lift overhead. And then exhale and lower. Lower until um, you can keep your spine um, in this lifted position. And then again, lift any amount. Exhale, lower. Try to keep that belly drawing in and the lower ribs also drawing in. One more time, lift. And exhale and lower. Nice job. Now with your next inhale, bring the block again, shoulder height, and this time hold it with your fingers. So thumb on one side, fingers on the other side. All right. And then from here, we're going to lift that block overhead, inhale. And as you exhale, lower the block with the right hand towards the right side, and then find a side stretch for the left. Okay. And then bring yourself back up, inhale. And then take it left hand, Side stretch for the right. Inhale back through center. Let's do it one more time each side like that. Right hand takes the block. And then back through center. And switch. Now as you inhale, coming back through center, block comes again, shoulder height. And now we're going to take the block around the body. So your right hand is going to take the block. Left hand stays forward. It's going to take it behind you, and then the left hand is going to come back, find the block, transfer, bring the block forward, right hand comes forward, okay? Same thing with the left side. Left hand takes the block, take it back, bring that right arm back, hold onto the block, transfer, and bring it forward. So controlled movement. Let's do it one more time. Try not to do too much with your spine. Right hand takes it back, left hand, transfer, bring it forward, and last one, left hand takes the block, bring it back, and forward. Nice job. All right, move the block out of the way, give your shoulders a little roll, they're probably feeling this. And then we'll give the neck a little stretch, so breathe in. Left ear, left shoulder. Maybe add the weight of your hand. Maybe walk your right hand out. And then gently release back through center. And when you're ready, take it to the other side, right ear towards the right shoulder. Maybe some weight. Maybe left arm goes out. Uh, quite a 
stretch for the left side of the neck. And then gently coming back through center. And then from here, we're going to make our way into all fours. So if you're sitting on your in a cross-legged seat, you might be able to roll over those knees and then come into your table pose. But if there's another way you do it, feel free to do that. In your table pose, your hands are going to be under your shoulders, your knees are going to be under your hips. And we'll just find some movement here. So a few options, you could do some cows and cats. You could also add some side movement. So kind of that C shape, sending the side body towards one side and then towards the other. And you could combine. Um, I've heard in some places call this like barrel rolls with your torso. So you're kind of combining a bit those cows and cats and the side body stretch um, in the same uh, movement. Okay, so a little creativity here. So feel free to do any movement that feels right. Let's take about five to eight breaths. And depending on how your body's feeling, you might want to emphasize a bit more the rounding or the side stretching or the arching. And then eventually make your way into more of a still table pose. Draw the belly towards your spine and let's extend that left leg out behind us. We're going to plant the ball of the foot and then walk your hands slightly forward. We're going to sw uh, shift forward and back. So as you inhale, come forward and come onto the top of that left foot. And then as you exhale, roll over the toes, come onto the ball of the foot. And then again, come forward, inhale, and move back, exhale. And two more times. So this is not only a nice stretch for the foot, but also some strengthening for those wrists. And then the next time that you're on the ball of that left foot, lift that left leg, inhale. And as you exhale, draw that knee into your chest and round your spine. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, draw that knee to the outside of your left elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee towards your right elbow. Inhale, lengthen. We're coming into a modified side plank, so we're going to pivot on that right knee. Your right shin is your kickstand, and you're opening up towards the left. Left leg stays lifted for a moment. Maybe your left arm reaches all the way up towards the ceiling. Engage through those glutes. Take a full breath in. And then on your exhale, plant your left foot. So align your left foot with your right knee and with your right hand. Take a full breath in. And then as you exhale, left arm comes all the way by your ear. So you get a lot of space on this left side of the body. Give a little push through the pinky toe side of your left foot. Give a little push forward with your hips. Another breath in. And another breath out. Nice job. One more inhale. And then as you exhale, lower that left hand and come back into your table pose. Hands underneath, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Find a cow and a cat. Breath in. Drop the belly. Lift the chest. Breath out, round your spine, maybe come onto your fingertips, give your wrists a little break, push the floor away, find that space in the back body. Come back onto those palms, into your table pose, and then the right leg is going to reach out. Let's plant the ball of the foot, push through the heel, and then walk your hands slightly forward. Shifting forward and back with those hips as you inhale, coming forward, maybe onto the top of that right foot. As you exhale, rolling back, push through that back heel, feel that calf stretch. And again, coming forward, quite a stretch for your wrists when you do this. Exhale, send it back. And one more time, inhale forward. And exhale and back. Nice job. Now coming back, if you need to realign with your hands, do so. Your right leg is going to rise. As you exhale, knee to chest, rounding spine. 
Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Coming into your modified side plank now on this side, pivoting on your left knee and opening up towards the right. See if you can stay with your right leg lifted for a moment here. Push the floor away with your bottom hand and then plant that right foot. Give your ankle a little stretch. Press through the pinky toe side. Open up through the chest, breathing in. And then right arm, see if it can come by your ear. Palm is facing down. And you get that long line from that right foot all the way to those right fingers. You might even look up towards the ceiling. Breathe in and breathe out. Another breath in. And then on your exhale, coming back into your table pose, hands under shoulders and knees under hips. Nice job. Tuck your toes and we're going straight into downward facing dog, lifting those knees, lifting those sit bones. And then once you're in your down dog, a little movement if that feels good. So bend and straighten one knee at a time. Maybe shift your hips a bit from side to side. And then keep pushing the floor away with your hands. Allow your neck to be a bit relaxed, a bit or a lot if you can. Breath in and a breath out. Another inhale and exhale. And from here, slowly walk your feet towards your hands, your hands towards your feet. We're going to meet in a forward fold at the top of the mat. Hold on to opposite elbows and give your knees a nice bend here. Breath in and breath out. One more inhale and exhale. Keeping your knees bent, bring your hands to your hips, chin to your chest and slowly unroll that spine. Eventually lengthening through your legs, eventually lifting the head. Allow your shoulders to move away from your ears and your palms to turn forward, arms are down by your side. Oh, it took us like 20, uh, 35 minutes to get up to standing today. <laughs> so just take a moment here. You know, feet on the floor, what is that? So shift your weight forward and back, maybe a bit side to side too. Spread your toes, wiggle them a bit. Give your shoulders a roll. And then engage through your glutes. So give your glutes a little squeeze and think about lifting your kneecaps towards your hips. Draw the belly towards your spine. And then with your next inhale, reach your arms overhead. And as you exhale, right arm down, come into a side stretch. Back through center, inhale. And then taking it to the other side, exhale. Back through center, inhale. On your exhale, forward fold. Inhale for a halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale, bend into those knees, rise into chair pose, arms by your ears. And then as you exhale, bring hands to your heart. With your next inhale, push the floor away, straighten legs, reach your arms up. As you exhale, left arm down, side stretch. Back through center, inhale. Take it to the other side, exhale. Back through center, inhale, forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, lengthen spine, fold, exhale. Chair pose, bend into those knees, rise up, inhale. Exhale, rest hands at your heart. Inhale, straighten legs all the way up. Exhale, right arm down, side stretch. Inhale, back through center. Exhale to your other side. We'll do that one more time. Center, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, lengthen. Fold, exhale. Bend into those knees, rise into chair pose, inhale. Exhale, bring hands to your heart. 
push the floor away, straighten legs and arms, inhale, right arm down, side stretch, exhale, back through center, inhale, other side, exhale, back through center, inhale, left foot is going to step back and we're coming into warrior two. We already did a bit of opening through the hips, so your warrior two is just a bit more of a continuation on that. But this time we're standing, so balance begins to play in here. So remember, your right knee is going towards your pinky. Your left thigh is slightly internally rotated. Your belly's drawing to the spine. Your tailbone is dropping straight down. Your arms are going forward and back, palms are facing down and shoulders away from ears. So strong through the legs, strong through the torso, but also relaxed. See if you can wiggle your toes a little bit here. Breathe in and breathe out. Now with your next inhale, straighten through that front leg, but as you straighten, don't think just about the knee going back. Think about pushing the floor away with the front foot. And then bend again. And two more times, just like that, really active through that front leg. And bend. Even when you're bending, you're not just letting gravity pull that leg down. You're actually resisting. Push and straighten. And come back and bend. Now stay with that bent front knee on your inhale. Reverse warrior. Front palm turns up. Reach it up and back and get some space in the right side of that torso. So the more you bend into that right knee and the more you reach up through those top fingers, the more stretch in the right side of your waist, your rib cage. Breathing in and breathing out. With your next inhale, come back through your warrior two. And as you exhale, plant your right forearm onto your right thigh and bring your left arm all the way by your ear. So now the left side of the body gets that stretch. Okay. Try not to push too much or put too much weight into that right arm. Try to use your legs and your core. So if you want, you could explore lifting that forearm without changing the rest of your posture. Nice job. You'll notice you've really got to strengthen through that back and front legs. With your next inhale, rise back up this time, straighten that front leg, and we're going into triangle pose. So hinge with your right hip, reach your fingers forward, and then lower that right hand, wherever it gets to your thigh, your shin, your block. And then the left arm is going in the opposite direction. Breath in. Breath out. Strong legs here. Squeeze a bit through the glutes, especially that left glute. Breath in and a breath out. With your next inhale, rise up. Bend into that front knee. We're going to send those hands to the mat and come straight into downward facing dog. Step that front foot back and lift those hips up and back. Head relaxes towards the ground. Maybe a little movement or stillness. See what you feel like. Maybe even an open mouth exhale. Return to your breath. Let's take three cycles here. And then use your next inhale to walk those feet towards the hands, your hands towards the feet. Find again your forward fold at the top of the mat. And take two cycles of breath, maybe holding opposite elbows, maybe a nice bend in those knees. Breathe in. And breathe. Hands transfer to your hips, chin towards the chest, unrolling the spine, rising up. And when you arrive there, let your shoulders drop away from your ears, palms are facing forward. Feel again your feet on the ground, maybe a wiggle through your toes. With your next inhale, reach your arms up. As you exhale, left arm down, side stretch. Coming back through center, inhale. Other side on your exhale. 
Back through center, inhale, forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, lengthen spine, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Bend until those knees, chair pose, inhale, rise. Exhale, hands rest at your heart. Push the floor away, inhale, rise up. Exhale, left arm down, side stretch. Back through center, inhale. Other side, exhale. Back through center, inhale. Now it's your right foot that's going to step back and we're coming into warrior two on this side. Remember to take your time to get yourself settled and stable through those legs. Adjust, make any little alignment um, wiggles. And then remember about your left knee moving towards your left pinky. So opening through that hip and then that right um, thigh wrapping slightly forward towards the front of that hip. Reach your arms forward and back, shoulders away from your ears. Breathe here. And then we're just going to straighten and bend that front knee. But again, make it active. Okay, so when you're ready, push the floor away. Notice that engagement through your thigh. And then bend again and see if you can keep that engagement. So you're really slowing down that lowering or that bend. And then again, push to straighten, bend. And one more time and push. And then bend. We'll stay with that left knee bent in your warrior two stance. And then turn your front palm up. Reverse warrior. Inhale. And let's focus on finding space in the left side of the waist. Rib cage. So reaching through those fingers and keep bending through that front knee. Breath in. Breath out. Strong through that right leg too. One more inhale and exhale. With your next inhale, bring yourself back through warrior two. And as you exhale, bend into your left forearm and come into your side angle on this side. Right arm coming by your ear. And now you get that long line from the right foot all the way to those right fingers. And keep um, helping that front knee to move towards your pinky. Don't let it cave in. And then draw the belly towards your spine. Nice job. Breath in. And breath out. Maybe play with lifting that forearm and not changing anything else in your pose. It's tricky. <laughs> and then with your next inhale, rise up straight and through that front leg. It should feel nice to straighten it. It worked quite hard. And then find your triangle pose. Also, sometimes for triangle pose, it's useful to shorten your stance. So if your warrior two tends to be long or you kind of slipped out a bit, it happens to me quite a bit, um, shorten up your, your triangle so that you don't hyperextend, especially that front knee. Okay, so when you're ready, flex through that left hip. Reach, reach, reach. And then lower that hand again, wherever it gets to that keeps your chest open to the side. And if your neck is free, you might even be able to send the gaze up, but careful with balance here. Anytime you change your gaze, balance becomes a little tricky. So do it slowly and with caution. Breath in and breath. And then as you inhale, we are rising up, bend into that front knee once again, warrior two. And then let's make our way into downward facing dog, hands to the mat and step that front foot back. Lift those sit bones up and back and give yourself here a good stretch. Breathe in and breathe out. One more inhale. And then on the exhale, let's all meet with the knees down and all the way into a child's pose. You can choose knees wide, so big toes touch and slide your knees to the edges of your mat. Or you could keep your knees more like hip width. 
So bones are going towards your heels and then using any props that work for you. So again, maybe a blanket behind your knees, maybe the block under your head. And see if you can allow the body to get a bit closer to the ground. Maybe some open mouth exhales will help with that. One more breath in and breath out. And then with your next inhale, walk your hands towards you. So lifting your spine. And then once again, let's find a seat. So bring those legs in front of you. And so if we're doing like in hip mobility mode and we did um, quite a bit, we might be ready for this. So um, we're going to come out into like a straddle seat. So we're going to bring both legs out. So here sitting on a blanket might be helpful so that you get that flexion through your hips and that slight tilt forward of your chest. But you can also use your hands and bring them back here and then press through those hands to send your chest forward. Okay. And then flex through your feet, toes are drawing towards your shins and your knees are pointing up towards the ceiling. Okay. Let's take a full breath in, lengthen spine, full breath out. And another inhale and another exhale. Nice job. Now, you might need to, you might allow your spine to go back a bit when we do this movement. And we've done it before, but maybe not recently. I can't remember if we did it um, anyway. But so we're going to move the legs without using the hands again. And um, we're going to be drawing one leg in and then finding a little twist. So you'll see. So first bend into your right knee and see if you can bring your right heel in towards your glute. And then this right knee is going to drop towards the left knee. Okay. So that is the movement. And then we're going to open up again that right knee. And then we're going to extend that right leg. Okay, so that movement. And uh, trying to do that like with control, trying not to shift too much from side to side, just play with it. Okay, left knee is going to bend, bring that heel as close to your gluteus as available, and then drop that knee towards the right knee. Okay. And then open up that knee, and then extend it out. There you go. And then again, right heel comes in, knee drops towards the left, open it up, and send it out. Nice job. Bend that left knee, heel comes in. Drop that knee towards the right. Open it up and send it out. Let's do it one more time each side. Right heel in, drop, open, out. Left heel in, drop, open, and out. Yay. All right. So from here, we're going to attempt a bit of a forward fold. So again, you can use your hands behind you and push your chest forward and down. Maybe your hands come to the insides of your legs. Maybe you walk them forward. Maybe you have your hands on a block and you'll be able to walk them forward a bit more if you've got them on your block. Okay. All along, important thing here is that your legs don't change. So your knees are still pointing up towards the ceiling and your toes are still drawing towards your shin and pointing up. So they're not caving in. Okay, You've got to resist. Actually, it will help if you actually make them kind of go out and that way a bit more. Okay. 
And again, encourage the flexion through your hip rather than rounding through the spine. Okay, so don't worry about how far down you go, but see if you can feel that this flexion through hip and there's some stretch through those hamstrings, through that inner thigh. Another breath in wherever you're at. And another breath. Now, as you inhale, rise any amount of fold. And then let's bend into both knees. Bring your feet to hip width. Knees are pointing up. And we're coming all the way down to the mat. And bring your block with you. Arms can come in front of you. And slowly, at your own time, get that whole back body onto the ground. I'm going to find a few bridge poses and then a supported bridge pose. So finding some space in the fronts of the hips. Arms are coming by your side, feet a hip width and close to your sit bones. When you're ready, lifting your hips on the inhale. And exhale, lowering. Find two more just like that. Breath in. Notice the space appearing in the fronts of the hips. Breath out. Lower. And one more, just like that. Breath in, lift, squeeze through your glutes, and breath out to lower. Now hold your block in one hand, inhale, lift your hips, and then slide that block under the sacrum. Remember, bony part, remember, shouldn't be any pain in that lower back. You might um, stay here with your knees bent, or you might walk your feet forward away from your block any amount. So you could try, try the lower setting first and see how that feels. And if you feel like there's a bit more range and you need a bit more space in the hips or a bit more stretch available, maybe walk your feet back and then switch to the second setting. That's can be a little intense, so don't overdo it. Make sure that the lower back is okay. There shouldn't be um, any pain there. And then we're just going to stay for a few breaths. Keep the chin drawing towards your chest, and the gaze down the midline. If your eyes are open, you might see the rise and fall of your chest and your belly. And if you had your legs extended, one at a time, bend the knees. Walk your feet back towards your block. And then from here, we're all going to lift those hips off the block on the inhale. Move the block out of the way. And now don't be too eager to lower those hips down. See if you can do it slowly. And see if you can do it section by section. So first, lowering upper parts of the spine. And as if you were trying to reach your heels with your sit bones, begin to then lower all the way down through the sacrum. And then once that sacrum feels supported on the ground, bring your feet a bit wider and then just let your knees rest into one another. Pause. Think about here finding space in that lower back. And so that tailbone is kind of like as if it, was, if it was trying to tuck between your legs. Your hands could rest on your belly and just feel your breath.
And now, if you're ready for stillness, you could stay. You could find a more comfortable position. And maybe signal that transition with an open mouth exhale, allowing the effort to drop, to fade, the tension to release, allowing your body to be as relaxed as possible. And there are no expectations for the mind. See if the mind goes along and stays calm or see if it gets busy. No rights or wrongs, you might just learn something about yourself today. Nothing else to do right now. And as always, if you have the time, you'd like to stay a bit longer, you could do that. If not, we'll begin to gently add movement to the body. Maybe your fingers, maybe your toes and your ankles, your wrists. Maybe the chin moves from one shoulder to the other. And you might even feel, feel like giving the whole body a stretch, reaching those arms overhead. And then if you're on your back, you might roll onto one side. Find a full breath in. And find a full breath out. And then use your hands to gently push yourself up. Yeah, let's find a comfortable seat and we'll end practice together. Your hands could rest on your lap or at your heart. Find that lifted, lengthened spine. And let's acknowledge the practice, a practice that never ends being a practice. Let's acknowledge ourselves for practicing today. Acknowledging all those who practice with us at any time. And then all those who make it possible. And we'll end with a word that means that the light in me recognizes and honors the light in you. Namaste. Namaste.